Welcome to the Wake Up With Gratitude podcast. I'm your host, Julie Boye, and I'm so excited to welcome you for the month of gratitude, where we'll be doing 30 ways to practice gratitude over the next 30 days. Every day, I'll share a new and different way to practice gratitude that you can try and implement that day. Make sure that you are subscribed or following the podcast to get notifications when the next day's gratitude practice is posted. Each lesson will only be a few minutes long, so if you're joining us in the middle of the month, you can easily go back and catch up on the days that you missed. Let's get started with today's gratitude practice. Here we are, friends. It's already day two of our 30 ways to practice gratitude challenge. And today I'm challenging you to send a text message of heartfelt gratitude to three people. It's a simple exercise and one you can do right now. You don't even need to pause the podcast. However, I recommend that you do so you can take a little bit of time to compose a thoughtful message. The more specific we are with our gratitude, the more powerful it can be. For example, you could send a text message to three people simply saying, I am grateful that you are in my life. Or you could take the time to write three specific messages of gratitude to each person. For example, one message could be to a friend who helped you out at an event on the weekend. You could let them know that you are grateful for the time they took to help you out on the weekend. You could also use these messages of gratitude to send a thank you to someone that you didn't thank at the time. If you were going through a difficult time, for example, and weren't really in a space to be grateful for the support that you had. Sending a text message, letting someone know how grateful you were that they were there for you during that difficult time could be a very welcome text message to receive. And this is the second part of today's gratitude practice. It's important to remember not to expect a reply. These messages of gratitude are generally very well received, but it's not always the case that we receive an answer. For so many reasons, someone may not answer our text message, and it's important that we let that go and release any expectations of how someone might react to a message they receive from us. What I've done to help me to remember to text people on a daily basis is I've set a reminder in my phone for 8.30 a.m. That's a time when I'm usually settled in getting ready to do my work for the day or maybe snuggled by the fire with my dogs and I'm in a good headspace. Then I take my phone out, scroll through some of my older text messages, and see who I haven't connected with in some time. That usually helps me bring up some memories of gratitude, and then I send them a text. I don't text three people every day, but I've created the habit to text at least one person. Even if you used this reminder simply to answer back some of your unanswered texts, that would make a difference as well. If you want to level up this practice, you could send a voice note. What I love about sending a gratitude voice note is that the receiver gets to hear the inflection in your voice and the feeling behind your words. Not everyone is comfortable sending a voice message, so if this doesn't feel good for you, stick to writing a text message. The most important thing is that you reach out and share your gratitude. This completes today's gratitude practice. Make sure that you are subscribed or following the podcast to get alerted when the next day's lesson is posted. If you're enjoying this experience or learning something new, I'd love to hear from you. You can connect with me through social media or via email by the links in the show notes. I'll be back tomorrow with a new and different way to practice gratitude. See you soon, my friends.